The um, system here has a controller unit, and this is the controller right here. It says Pioneer on it. The controller is going to control what device you are using. So right now we've been listening to music. So it's at CD, you know, like CDR slash tape. Mm -hmm. When it's set to that and you, you set it by, whoops, that's the volume. You set it by changing this over here. Now it can be confusing. It says CD. It's not, you use the CD slash tape. To play a CD. Then your CD player is right here. It's the onc Onkyo, however you say that. Okay. That it works like any other CD player. It's got, you know, you open it up, it has six CDs in it, so it goes, you know, continuously for a long period of time. And um, that thing is pretty intuitively obvious of how to work it. But if you want, on the other hand, to watch television, you're going to change this and keep cycling through until you get to TV slash satellite. Okay. That will turn the system so that you're watching your television. Okay. Okay. Um, if you wanted to watch a VHS tape. If you still own those. <laughs> Baby <laughs> book. Say, um... There is a VH, let's see, it's D DVR slash VCR. Okay. That's what you're going to do there. Okay. If you wanted to watch a DVD, Blu-ray disc slash DVD, and it'll switch it to here. Each, the controller here switches it so that it's, it's which device is it looking at, and then you operate that device as normal. Okay. There are remote controls for each one of those things if you want a remote control from out there. Um, that top one to the left, this one is the This is the dish, dish. and you'll be taking that I'll be and returning that. that. Okay. Exactly. But the rest of this stuff is staying. Now, um, the surround sound is controlled by these pieces here. And quite frankly, play with it until you set, hear the sound that you like. Um, some of these uh, will put all the speakers in play. Uh, some of them will switch it. There are two zones so that the zone in the bedroom turns off, on or off. That um, right now, see that A right there? Mm -hmm. That's the main one. So that's for the living room? For that's the living room. Okay. There is a B zone, which is the bedroom. Okay. That makes sense. And so if you want both of them, see it says speaker, speakers off. That means there's no speakers at all. Speaker A on, that's everything out there. Speaker B, back in the back. Speaker A and B okay. is everything. Okay. Okay. I usually keep everything set at A and B. Just in case I want to go back in the bedroom and I want to hear what's going on. Uh, we've been playing Christmas music. Mm -hmm. You can hear it back there. Um, the different kind, there's a couple zones too. Um, there's like auxiliary speakers, like my husband has to hear separate auxiliary and there's a zone one and then the zone two is the auxiliary and his auxiliary speakers are on zone two the thing you have to know is that you say you switch this to blue to the um, dvd if i want the dvd to be playing out of his speakers i need to make zone two that also now i may have to play here a minute to make sure i get this right but there. Ha, huh, lucky guess. See, zone two, Z2, mm -hmm. says TV satellite. I need to change that to Blu-ray disc DVD, or his speakers will play be playing something different than the main room is. Oh, okay. Okay? So, I'm going to switch this back to 
TV satellite because that's what we usually watch. But that's that's the zone thing, the zone controls that are going on here. Okay. Otherwise, um, the sound, the boat, the surround sound has different types of sound you can hear. Um, there's a stereo. I don't know what ALC stands for. There's um, an advanced section. It, it play with those. Just keep it till you hear a sound you like. Okay. Uh, there's one of them, like if you're watching a Star Wars movie, that is unbelievable. It'll make the house shake. <laughs> it will literally put the sound really voluminous in the house. Even if the volume's down, it 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 creates this action, it's an action setting, so that you actually feel it. That is personal preference. And literally, I just play with it until we got a sound that John could hear well with his hearing aids. Okay, perfect. That's all there is to it. Sounds good, and we've got manuals for things down yes, below. manuals down here. There's some um, remote controls up there. Perfect. Okay. Thank you. And so setting their television once they bring their TV. Let me show you one other thing okay. here. And we were also discussing that probably having somebody through Geek Squad or something like that to come up and set everything up would be right. a good idea. This is all wired through the house and there's one control that comes all the way. You can see all the wires that come through and there is one wire that hooks in to, let's see, the back of their television. And I'm gonna have trouble finding it here right now. Here it is. This is it. Okay. Plug it in and that's hooking you in. Okay. Okay. Um, we have a little auxiliary thing right there that kind of helps the remote control um, we were having trouble getting it to change the channels for our dish. Okay. Um, we never did really figure out why dish, the it's with the dish receiver was the problem, okay. not anything else. Because um, it would change movies and stuff like that. But bottom line, we hooked that up. We're leaving that for them. Okay. So, and there's a just a little, um, they'll see a cord that you got to push on, put on your, um, DV on your dish okay. uh, receiver for it to register. Okay. Okay. The other part of the box is in the closet there. Perfect. Perfect. Thank okay. you so much. You're welcome. Okay.